Today in this video, I'm going to show you like how do you can create post category tab in Elementor. And in this video, we'll make something like, as you can see, when you click on the tab, where you get the post. And if I click on this another tab, I get more post. And if I click on the another, I get more post. So in this video, I will show you how do you can create something like. First of all, you have to log in your admin panel, like type your website name slash WP admin and just log in there. And when you successful login, hit the left side, you will see plugins option and just click on here this add new button. Okay, because we are going to install a plugin. It's called happy add on for Elementor. Just click on add new and search here happy add on happy Elementor add ons and just install this plugin and activate this plugin. I successfully installed this plugin and now you have to go the page why do you want to add the you know the widget it's called widget or add-on something like so what are you going to add so in my case I want to add here in this page like it's called Python writing page and I just click on here edit with Elementor button for editing this and I just come on this page and as you can see now I can edit everything okay so now here the left side bar you have to search post just search post okay when you search post and here as you can see post tab just drag and drop here what do you want to add this thing and then you will get something like you will not get something like you will get something yeah let me show you that again just search post and I get this thing and I just you know drag and drop here and I just get something like black and here showing no post fund but in a website already have lots of posts so let's search the category name so my category name is journalist so I just when I type G J O then I guess this channel is so if you don't know what is your category uh, like post category just go to here uh, the post and just click on here the category then you will see all the category that you already create and there you know all the post how many posts in the year also you'll see in the category page okay so as you can see in my all the category showing and also the post count okay so now I just add one category and I just want get it one tab so now let me go to the another one. Yeah, I already add another one. And when I get another one, then I will get the another one here. So this is the listing. Okay, so if you want to change something that I want to show the first story children, then just close first one and just again type the second one. Just click on and then just type the two word or three word. Then they will just automatically searching and they will give you this thing. Okay and p let me say this type p and i just get another one okay now this is the last thing okay now the first you will get something like and if, if you go to the setting then you can change the alignment now it's the alignment is sent to okay so let me see show you the query here the source why do you want to take this post like this is called the source and here some uh, lots of options there so i just select post because i want to do this post and here the taxonomy i think this is called something like tab so what do you want formats are ca categories so in my case i want like this categories category wise and how many items do you want to do you want to show here so on my case i want to show 12 um this means in every single category they will show 12 up to 12 not like um 15 or 20 up to 12 okay that means when someone click on the tab they will see up to you know uh, 12 first if you want you can increase this thing and here the setting and the column how much column do you want like here you can choose in my case if a tree then I will see three three post in this column uh, if you want something like more like five six seven eight or not eight only six you can add up to six column okay and filter position you can add here so in my case it's now center and here the tab action oh when I select the three column it's like more bigger um, so if you want you can you can choose four or three as you wish that you personally like and tab action on click on hover so tab action means uh, now when I hover it's not working but when I click it just change but if you want you can change it to hover so now it's hover and I just when I click on journal journalism I think it's called um, previous I say wrong but it's okay don't mind plus so when I hover in there I get something new I think but it's okay. I think the click is good because people normally know this. You have to click on this tab and it's not, it's not looking good. People can understand this thing. And driver setting, we don't have to do this. And let's go to style. 
now we can do some style here like this margin bottom yeah, this is the tab they just if you see careful here at the arrow click on the arrow then see different thing like tab column and content what do you want to edit here you have to choose the thing okay so in my case i don't want to edit anything but i want something in a gap here um in a gap but i think it's okay here spacing oh it's like good it's like good yeah but i'm not going to edit it the default one it's like good and the content also but if i'm going to change the color just go to the tab this is tab this is your column and this is the content it's three up uh, three things here okay and here we can change the color i think the hover color that's really change okay so here the color here the background color yeah we can change this thing uh, for example now let me change the color is to something like other oh here's the color option let me make it red so when i hover is this goes red so if you want to make something like other then you can do so here the here the color picker option just click on the color picker oh it's not working i think the color picker you have to do it manually but if you have any code like color code then you can paste here for example my, i know something it's like triple zero triple zero means black so i just triple zero now it's black yeah it's like also good but the previous one's like good i'm not going to iterate it again okay so now let's go to the advanced tab and here margin padding adjust index and this thing and border marks this thing are blah blah there okay this is the video okay so uh, oh, okay okay one thing i was forget to sh show you that like how to create in a post um so you have to hover on a pages and just click on add new button for creating in a page then you can easily do edit on your page okay so it's not hard something it's a very simple thing i i know people know this people know this people know the basic of wordpress so if you don't know about this WordPress like this basic then please let me know in comment section So if you not understand and if you have any question, please let me know in comment section And if you have any specific thing that if you have any request then you can do me a request And next I will make a video about that. Okay. Thanks for watching <laughs>